Desert Bar in Arizona on the border, California, Arizona, just south of Lake Havasu City. We are in a Mazda CX-7. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not in our rig. We would not bring our rig out no. here. We could probably make it in our rig, but it would take us about 10 times as long because it's pretty bumpy. We have an all-wheel drive vehicle, but I think most vehicles should be able to make it out here. And we'll see, we haven't gotten to the bar yet, but it's literally a bar in the middle of the desert where you can drive your off-road vehicles and camp, and it's all run by solar. That's a proper vehicle. Yeah, that's a much better vehicle out here. You can go a lot faster than our car can. <laughs> oh, fudge. <laughs> no, that's not fire. That's a dune buggy. Is there an end in sight? Where's the end of the road? Because that's right, it's supposed to be at the end of the road? I think so, yes. Do you see it in the distance? We found the bar, we found the bar. Open seasonally, October through April, Saturdays and Sundays only, high noon till 6 p.m., live music both days. Operating solely on solar, like that, solely on solar, which includes a well that Ken dug himself. Before that, he used to truck in all this water in a huge tank from the back of his pickup truck. That's a true uh, innovator there. And now he's got a well. Welcome to Nelly. Nelly E. Saloon, known more as the Desert Bar. It's located in Parker, Arizona, in the Buckskin Mountains, or rather, probably more in the middle of nowhere in the desert. Hence the name, the Desert Bar. Nelly E. originates from the old mining claim that was there, and in 1983, the owner, Ken, he thought, what the hell? Why not? Let's try a bar in a desert. So with the land, a liquor license, and a three-sided structure that you would never guess was the bar, the desert bar was open for business. So the old bar still stands. It's just outside of the restrooms. You can see it. But really, compared to the current structures that were completed in 1988 that now house the desert bar, this little three-sided structure is probably more a shack. Or rather, it's a piece of history. It's pretty cool. Everybody say hi! Hey! hey. What's hey, up? hey. It's a pretty cool bar though. It's a really cool bar. It's kind of uh... Nobody can hear you. It's kind of like Sturgis in the desert here. Yeah. Not much for beer here. No, but it's you're in the desert. You need to hydrate. We're hydrating the Colorado way and the crappy way. Whatever that crap hey, if is. If I'm going to drink crappy, then I'm going to drink less calories. I'm going to go all in. I don't care. I'm going to the original. Still a good oh, beer. And this is what I have to say to no dancing. Oh, she's dancing. <laughs> Where's the COVID police? If you find yourself having too much fun, you might need some food. I got that here too. Gourmet fries, gourmet burgers, something even as simple as no cheese ever. You just have to choose the right bar. structures built in the late 90s is actually a church. While there are no services held here, maybe it's a way to ask for forgiveness for whatever you did while visiting Nelly's Desert Bar. God knows we all need a bit of forgiveness. At least, definitely me for drinking that Michelob Ultra. Cheers to that, and until next time, peace out y'all. What a place, what a place. 
caught me at my best working hard on videos for you guys. So hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on what we got coming for you. Cheers.